Welcome back to the channel and to episode number three of the 2K23 Things You Might Not Know series. So let's get into it again with more secrets, easter eggs, hidden features and awesome details. First up today, let's talk RK Bro. So as you might know, RK Bro currently don't feature their own tag team motion and despite being a team, are actually set to make their way to the ring separately. But what you might not know is that despite no motion, their entrance themes and trons are actually included. These can be found in the Create an Entrance section under RK Bro. Last year's game featured a bunch of modded creations and despite 2K23 being brand new, we've actually got some to cover already. So today's modded creations come via both the world's finest and what's for status, who have both uploaded various playable managers. So we've essentially got some bonus playable superstars. So far we have got the likes of Paul Heyman, Bobby Heenan, Scala, Corey Graves, the McMahon family, as well as Adam Pearce. Corey, what do you make of this guy heading to the ring? Well, he's obviously incredibly handsome, Cole. I mean, that goes without saying. Coming from the world's finest, next up we have got a hidden version of Mick Foley. As you can see, this Mick Foley differs from the in-game version of Cactus Jack, featuring a different hairstyle. This one can also be found on this year's cross-platform community creations. Next up, one you might have seen pre-release, but nonetheless want to cover in the series, which is the easter egg that takes place if you have John Cena defeat RVD at one night stand in this year's 2K Showcase mode. Your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, John Cena! Another John Cena easter egg that the game features takes place when you feature a John Cena vs John Cena match. Unlike in previous years, this year's commentary will actually reference the same superstar facing off against a different version of themselves with some pretty unique lines of commentary. Here's a dream matchup we thought we'd never get to see, Cena vs Cena, each one hailing from a different era in John's career. What started as a schoolyard debate of which scene is better has erupted into a serious rivalry. Both of these scenes know there's only one real way to figure out who is the better man. An epic battle of youth versus experience. This should be one heck of a match. I never thought we'd have the pleasure of calling this match, but here it is. John Cena taking on John Cena. Time to find out which one of these Cenas is the best there has ever been. It's like Cena's own inner questions are getting played out right before our very eyes. He wants to know just as badly as we do which of his eras is the greatest of all time. We all came into this match with big expectations and neither man disappointed. This one was as hard fought as they come, but congratulations to the victorious Cena, able to overcome himself, so to speak. On paper, this matchup was obviously impossible to predict. But only one man could stand tall as the winner. Only one man could call himself the best Cena around, and we're looking at him. This year's game features a bunch of brand new arenas, one of which is Vengeance 2003. Now, this one was added for this year's 2K Showcase, and as Spinot being involved in the showcase itself, the arena does have the awesome detail of featuring the saloon, which was used during the actual event. So this one makes the arena surprisingly accurate and no doubt an awesome detail that 2K have featured.
So as we cover back in episode number one, 2K23 features a top-notch Bloodline entrance that also works as a double champion entrance for Roman Reigns. But what you might not know is that the Reigns champion entrance in 2K22 remains in 2K23, only this time also works as another double champion entrance. To see it, simply have Reigns as a double champion and set Paul Heyman as his manager. Individually, both already have Hall of Fame credentials for Reigns as a competitor, for Heyman as a manager, but now each man is making a strong case for the greatest of all time. Together, they have unified titles, created multiple main events, and set the foundation for the bloodline. And the scary thing is, Reigns and Heyman are only getting started. He needs to be ready. If he's not, he'll be next. Last up today, we have got one of my favorite things to cover, which is unique superstar counters. So firstly, we have got this unique dodge for Reggie, which features his signature backflip with a different flip depending on angle, both backwards, forwards, and sideways. He then features his own unique counter to close lines, both from the front as well as from the back. Then we have got this one for Aliyah, who features this unique counter in the corner. As always, share me things to cover in future episodes in the comment sections below. Stay tuned for more like this, come into the channel soon, and until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.